If you're not using seller carrybacks, you are missing out. The hardest thing for new people to get is the down payment to purchase their first rental property. Once you get that first one, it can kind of build on each other, but you got to understand the seller carryback. Seller carryback works like this. Property is worth $100,000, okay? Let's say you don't have $20,000 or 20% to put down. So you go to the seller and say, I'll give you your price of $100,000. I'm going to get a bank loan for $80,000 or 80% LTV. That's loan to value. And I'm going to ask you, Mr. Seller, to hold back 20% or $20,000 that I can count as my down payment. So the bank's in the first position at 80%. The seller's in second position at 20%, and you've got 100% financing on the property. Now, it might not cash flow that great, but remember, you didn't put any money down. So any gains is really an infinite return. Did you hear that? An infinite return, because you put zero down and you put gains on it. If I can break even on a 100% finance deal, 80% from the bank, 20% from uh, the seller, then I'll buy that all day because I'm not using any of my own capital. And sometimes you ne can negotiate a very low or zero interest rate on that carryback loan from the seller. Remember, it's all about keeping your powder dry, which means keep as much down payment in your pocket as you can. Use OPM, other people's money. Boom, like, follow, subscribe for more. That Jigga J Layman coming at you.